Well, CAMFEST gives us a peek at the remarkable work being done in the world of film. Earlier, we told you about 105-year-old Tyrus Wong. CAMFEST is opening its festival with a look at his life and times and how he influenced that classic Disney film, Bambi. Well, some of his work is on display right now at the Walt Disney Family Museum. And the curator of the exhibit took us on a tour. I'm Michael Labrie at the Walt Disney Family Museum. I'm the director of collections and exhibition. And in the museum here, we present different productions that were created at the Disney Studios. And this is our Bambi exhibition. Within the case here, we have many of pieces that were created by Tyrus Wong. And what intrigued Walt Disney about his work was it was the impression of the forest rather than a heavy detail. And here there's a good representation of some of his works here. Now because of the lightness and character of the watercolors, his work did not translate well on screen. So here are his works created in oil, which is what they used for production of the film. This is just a small representation of the Tyrus Wong works we have in our collection. And I'm about to take you into a very secret, secure area. It's our collection storage, and we refer to it as our dungeon. I'm bringing you in there now. So this is really behind the scenes, and this is where we store our art in a climate-controlled environment. And we have out here a great collection, a uh, great selection of art that we have in our collection from Tyrus Wong. Two wonderful images, very similar, yet they show the study of the deer walking into the forest and the change of light. And this is Bambi, which we did not have in our gallery. Good representation of the impressionistic feel and look of the animals that he created for Bambi waterfall, birds. This is a stunning drawing of a landscape, morning light. You can almost feel the mist in the forest, which is what Tyrus was known for, expressing an emotion in, the, in his art. And this is a really lovely drawing of a bird that he created with as few lines as possible. And this is a very special piece that was a gift by Diane and Ron Miller. And Diane, Walt Disney's daughter, wanted to honor this artist that worked with her father, creating the look of Bambi. She found out when he visited that he had never met her father. So that was the beginning of the idea of doing a retrospective of his art and really presenting a wonderful story of this amazing artist that's now 105 the oldest Chinese American artist alive. And that's going to do it for our show today. We are going to put all the information and links for all of today's segments on our Bay Area People page at KTVU.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time right here on Bay Area People.